Hello everybody, this is Jury Duty Summons, and today I want to show you guys how to add a flashlight to your videos. And this is a trick I used in a couple of my videos. I haven't used it in a little while, but uh, I thought it'd be worth sharing because it was kind of fun. And so, um, right here I have some footage. This is the, this is the media library, the project media. Yeah. And so I'm going to put that on the, put that on the video track. And the only thing, other thing I've done is I've added another track here. And of, uh, of course I'm using uh, Sony Vegas. I'll uh, put that in the video description or video title or whatever. Um, I'm kind of assuming you have at least some familiarity with it. If you don't, then this might uh, be a little past what you can do. But it, it should be pretty easy to follow. It's not a hard trick. All right, so anyway, let's take a look at what the media looks like to begin with here. So you can see it's a really rather dark. It's, it's darker than than is typically useful. So let's see if we can do something to, to fix that. One thing you can do is use a um, the video FX and let's go down to let's see I can never remember where things are um, levels okay and then we'll do a brighten just a just a straight brighten we'll see what happens okay so it just jumped up in brightness right there and but here it's not quite bright enough so let's even pump that up even further so right there that's really rather bright but this is a really dark part of, you know, this is in a cave at night with no torches. Um, as you can see here, though, once you put down a torch, it just becomes way overly bright. So let's put that on play. And so we don't, it doesn't help to have, jeez, <laughs> it doesn't help to have it just it, to brighten the whole track like that. So let's, let's fix that a bit. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. And we're going to find out when we want... first thing we want to do is figure out where you want to turn the flashlight on. And so about, let's say, here. And then figure out where you want to turn the flashlight off. So let's say we've got a torch there already. Torch. I think we already have a torch. So right there. Let's find out right before we put the torch up. All right. Well, so we'll split a couple... It's like a... Let's say, say a dozen frames before the torch. That way it looks like you're actually, you know, people can see how dark it was. All right, so there we go. And I'm going to copy that section that I just cut out. So from there to there. And we'll paste it back. So I, I, I click right there. It snaps to the edge. So that way everything will be in sync. So there we go. And so now we can take that brighten. And we can now layer it to the second layer. So let's give this a name. Uh, bright. So this bright layer here, I just added that to it. We'll turn off this layer. There we go. So now we're only seeing the bright track. So we get as bright as we want it. That's pretty good. Let's just make sure it looks good throughout. There we go. I think that's perfect. Let's turn back on this track. And so to get the flashlight effect, we're going to add a cutout. And so up here under the cookie cutter. And so we're going to add a uh, circle cutout center blurred. So there you, go. you can see the flashlight effect even just taking shape now. And uh, at this point, this is this is pretty good. If you wanted to to emphasize the limited field of view and make like a moody kind of thing, you can even leave it this narrow. Um, but I prefer to increase the size a bit. So let's go with let's go with that. So that's 0.34. So let's look how the track. Let's take a look how the track looks now. And the flashlight on. Perfect. And there we go. You can actually see what the cave looks like. You can see the rocks. You can see that iron ore I missed. <laughs> and there we go. You can see up in there. There's the moon. Everything looks great. And then turn the flashlight off to put a torch up. And now we have natural lighting. Perfect. That's exactly what we're going for. Except it's not quite a flashlight yet. 
Okay, and so the next trick, the next thing we have to worry about is the sound effect. We need a flashlight click. And so I, I went on the web, I found a really good click here. So let's put that on there and see what happens. We'll highlight that little loop. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I just turned the volume down on everything. There we go, let's try that again. All right, so that's not bad. I, I kind of want it to to sync up a little different here. So we'll zoom way in. Um, let's go a little before, see what happens. We're way zoomed in, okay. There we go. That worked. We'll do another one at the end to turn it off. It sounds a little better if it starts before the effect. That's just my opinion, though. So you just adjust that to be whatever feels right for the situation. There we go. Let's take a look at the whole footage without any kind of interruption. There we go. Exploring. Let's look at this cave. Oh, there's some iron ore. <laughs> there you go. And uh, you can definitely play around with the different click effects. And so even if you find something, if you find a click that you like better, I, that one's a little bit mechanical. So um, just, you know, this, replace, uh, replace that with whatever you like. So there you go. Um, if anybody has any questions, let me know. And I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. All right. Have a nice evening.